Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster. So, um, I want to kind of show you some of the things I've been doing off camera. So, uh, I went, I was making these guys here. Let me show you how I made those. So, when you run the Ruby ore through the extractor you end up with these guys once you finish cooking them so I made a couple swords I was like hey you know what I need something that's halfway decent with looting because I need some leather and I'll show you why I need the leather in a minute I ended up with this thing holy cow sharpness 4 unbreaking 3 looting 3 knockback 2 fire aspect 2 I think it's about the best you can get it's a ruby sword so it's only 500 but it's still a dang nice sword Oh, and um, I got a few more crystals. <laughs> uh, I went AFK for a while. I had like 132 levels. And then um, I went out and I got some more crystals. And so I got enough for all these guys. Speed, strength, regen, and fire resist. And I just got back, so I got some glowstone. I think I'm going to do um, saturation. I don't like night vision so much because, I mean, that's something I do, I think it'd be cool to have, but I don't know if I'd use it all the time. Um, for the simple fact of when you're lighting up caves and stuff, you can't really tell, and in some instances it causes more problems because of, it like reverses the effect or whatever. Um, the other one I wanted to do was physical resistance. Um, don't need that so much, especially with Strength 3. That's just nuts. Um, so, I've got enough. I got another Glowstone. Glowstone's been my determining factor. And I found some Glowstone while caving. Or no, uh, was it caving or... Um, I might have grabbed it from the Nether. I don't think so, though. The only reason I went in the nether is... I don't remember why I went in the nether. But anyway, so you need a redstone block, a glowstone block, um, a gold block. Put this nugget in here. So I need nine gold. And then you need two obsidian for these guys. Okay, so first we're going to do the gold block. And gold block goes bottom center. Glowstone goes in one of the corners. Redstone goes in one of the other corners. And then obsidian as your base. And then you... Oh, okay. I was going to say you go back up and get the crystals because you forgot them like I did. Um, so there we go. And we end up with saturation. And it'll be saturation 3. And then when I plop this guy down... So you see right now I'm missing a... Um, a hunger and a half and put this guy right there now I'm full on hunger so now I don't really have to eat so much so I've got five minutes of not requiring to eat so you can do mining you can do swimming jumping you can do whatever you want and you won't accumulate any hunger uh, while doing it so that's pretty cool um, let's see what else did I work on um, so up here, so yeah, I did all those guys there. That's going on up there. Um, I'm not sure if you guys seen my um, miscraft. Um, actually, I think I did show you guys that. I didn't get a really good first um, world, but I did go to Twilight. Twilight's actually been more beneficial than um, the miscraft because mobs don't normally spawn on the surface of twilight so um, I haven't had to worry about mobs while running around getting stuff okay so the next thing um, so we've been working with the extractor and um, I added a CBT so I needed leather to make the um, belts and to make the 
and belt. You need. Oh, I guess you just. Oh, I only need the belt. I don't even need. Oh gosh, I almost wasted a bunch of this. Okay. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's all I need. The ball bearings were part of this recipe. So what I can do is this guy and my torque. There we go. So now when I flip this guy. No. Oh, you know what? It's two four torque. Sixteen speed is what it was. Okay, so now this guy is full. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, so I've got all this stuff, all these solutions that are ready to be crafted. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy up so we finish. I'm going to get five more or eight more done. Um, but this takes it even smaller. The problem with doing this early on is it requires three diamonds to make the shaft to, that is required for the CVT unit. So if we look here, um, you're these guys take three to make three so it's one diamond each but to the recipe is three and then you need um, the screen and the circuit board which requires a lot of stuff and the recipe I was messing with was the uh, shaft bearing which is ball bearings surrounded surrounding a high metal thing high, st high steel HSA steel or whatever but yeah so that, but this is pretty cool. Um, I click the redstone up here. So now, um, when it's off, it's 4x torque. When it's on, it's 16x speed. So right now it's off. So it's providing stage one and stage four. Um, it's meeting the requirements for stage one and stage four. And I flip it on, it meets the requirements for stage two and three. So that's what I got going on there and I've got all kinds of stuff I'm chucking through there um, I, I was messing around with it so as far as computer graph goes uh, I was trying to get so if you take a computer let's pop a computer down and um, so you bring it blue up so let's map Oh. Uh, back? I think it's on the back. Okay, so what that's doing is it's wrapping the back peripheral to the chest. And then if I do P. Uh, um, just, okay, so there's this method called push item into slot and pull item into slot. Now at first glance it would cause you to assume that it will pull an item or push an item from a different um, side. So what I was trying to do is uh, set up to where I'd have two of these and on one side I would eject um, slot 2 or slot 1 zero slot zero slot one to a chest which would go to the other extractor which would do phase two and phase three and then that would eject slot three into a chest which would send it over to the this extractor which would be working on phase one and four um, but that didn't quite work so I'll have to go back to my previous plan of just uh, counting all these guys up so if slots 0 through 3 are greater than 0 turn on the clutch well actually you can just leave it on now it's not a big deal because um, the CVT it requires lubricant but you don't need more lubricant you only need lubricant once and that's it um, so there's the that and then based on the quantities of 
slots zero through three will be uh, de determining whether uh, which phase needs to be done. So if slot three and slot six, well basically if slot six is at 63, then um, it sh 63 or higher, then it shuts off. So um, you need to s turn it back to phase one four at that point and then keep doing that until either this is empty until slot 3 is empty and then if there's more stuff here turn on phase 2 3 I don't know it's a big it's a big ordeal um, if you guys understand it and you want to hear more I can explain it but otherwise it's a long I don't know, it's programming if you like programming it's a lot of fun if not it can be very boring and um, not very interesting. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on off off camera. Um, but I went to Twilight. That was um, a lot of fun. Let's go. Let's see. So I got that going. Let's drop these here. So we got some steak. Um, I don't want any raw fish right now. It's all cool and stuff. I'll save the steak. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use the steak in extreme circumstances. Uh, let's put the bones in there. Oh, and I got some paper. Oh, I killed these books. These books dropped paper and books and quills. That was pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Let's put these guys up here. Don't need those. Um, where am I putting the hearts? Hearts. I can put hearts down here. Let's get rid of some dirt. Dirt, my dirt. Let's get rid of some arrows. That way, I don't like having more than a stack of arrows because it takes up a bunch of extra room. Let's go down and put this steel back in its rightful place. One of the things that's really cool. So I'm not. So the other thing I made is a dolly. Dolly is actually pretty cool. So if you've used um, Darkcraft, you can actually pick these up and you place them down. The nice thing is is that it's always facing. So I think if I pick it up here and I put it there, okay. So it's always going to face you. Which that's cool, and then it keeps all its inventory. When you pick it up, I wonder if so. Mining fatigue and slowness too, which is um, my speed three is overriding it. Which is pretty funny. Um, mining fatigue. Oh, I can't fight with it on. Can I put it here? Interesting. I wonder if you can put it in a bag. And what it would do. Um, but I don't want to take that with me. I want to put that. Um, I'm going to put it in tools. It's a nice tool. Um, let's see. Oh, I made a fortune. I only got fortune one on it. So that's that. And, um, so yeah. So you want to go to check out this tower with me? Um, oh, what? Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, if you think, uh, what was it, uh, these crystals are like better than, uh, oh gosh. That was a waste. I'm gonna go. Let's refill. So I think I stand right about here. There, everybody set. Okay, so let's go. Um, oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing a helmet. <laughs> this whole side has like two. 
don't have a helmet. Um, I want to make one. I think I did these. Fire protection three. I don't think I need that. Uh, do I have any more? Ah. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna need shoes. I'll take. Uh, I need better shoes than that. Let's do these shoes. Projectile protection. I can go with that. Okay, so we'll keep these on us. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of those. Okay, so let's reset. Everybody's good? Okay. Um, let's see. Oop. Oh, yeah, I got them on. Okay. And away we go. Oh, what's really funny is uh, when you go through this here, um, sometimes you end up with, yeah, mobs there. <laughs> okay, so where is Mr. Tower at? I think Tower's up this way. So when you zone, when you go through portals, all your buffs don't really carry. Oh no, carry over. Maze crystals. Where did you guys go? Oh yeah, you're up here. Going the right way. So my. Oh maybe it's. There we go. I forgot, if you double tap forward, you modify your speed so that when you release it, it goes back to checking for your speed three. So we got 37 torches left. Okay, so let's go. Okay, there isn't, let's go to the next level here. Ooh, there see here instant health I think that's one of the things I need I need regen I'll take a gold don't need the books if I had a regen one that'd be amazing because that one I need a um, That's a dude. Let's put you right there. Oh, there's another one. I'm breaking one. Power three bow. Flame one bow. Let's go with the power three bow. Take the gold. Iron leggings. Oh, these, I think I can melt these back down. I think the iron I can melt back down. Oh, what do we got over here? This is purple, that's XP. I will take that. Oh, wow. Don't fall on here. Okay, so not much in here. Nope. Nope. That's why we have regen. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Watch out for holes in these stairs, man. I've fallen so many times. Okay, as you can see, I've been here a little bit before. Magenta. Or magenta. What is magenta? I don't remember what magenta is. Uh -huh. Okay, so not much up here. Do, 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 do. Um, do I have any blocks? I have wood blocks. I guess that will have to do. So let's go. Nothing over here. Oops. Fine. Ooh, almost fell down there. Let's 
So I'm seeing these. Do those guys have any? Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I don't know what. Well, that's not good. Oh, watch out for this book here. He throws paper at you. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's throwing at me, but he ain't happy. Oh, I'm going to lose all my cool toys. Oh, there's another book. So, almost to the top of this tower. That's where I got like. Can this go down anywhere? Okay. Didn't lose the. That's where I got the last glowstone from. Ooh, some lapis. I will take that. Thank you. Lucky Lapis. More stuff here. Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> like a Manchester Mystery House here. Stairs that lead nowhere. So I already checked that. Um, nothing else. Look. Look, what were they thinking when they... <laughs> well, this is nuts. That's lava. Be careful with that. Okay, down to 18 torches. Gotta pay attention to that. Okay, so I went in there. There's stuff up. That's where it came from. Okay. Oh, let's, uh. Yeah. Whoa! Bad guy. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Oh, fire zombie. That's not good. So where are we getting more stuff from? I'm gonna go to the other side and light this other side up. This could be really bad. Okay, so I was up here a little bit before. This is nobody. Okay, I lit all this up. There's stuff up here. That's the witch. The wicked witch. This is... So... coming up there. Put you right there. My power three bow is going to come in handy. Twilight Lich. Huh. Hey. Found a 
twelve. Instant health potion. Oh, <laughs> might have to use that sucker. Uh, another breaking. Uh, I'll take them. Book and clothes. Hey guys. Well, you guys come from. There's like three of you. Oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Dropping paper every time you throw stuff? Oh, come on. We like falling through things. Is he like throwing book guys at me? He like teleports around, that's not fair. Think this here. <laughs> I've never done this before. Oh, uh, I've died plenty of times. I'm looking. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen next. Let's see. <laughs> Where's one of them chests? I <laughs> put some stuff in it. <laughs> sides. I don't have one right here. Okay, so in one of these sides, you know what? How much wood do I got left? I got 14. Yeah, that's enough. All right, so I am going to make a chest at the bottom of this ravine here. That is way down here. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this corner here. That's what I don't need. There. Uh, all the important stuff. Uh, sure. I'd rather have four gunpowder and 22 paper over a book and quill. <laughs> All right. I'm waiting now. 
let's go let's go do this let's go die a horrible death and get like almost no loot because you know that's what I'm gonna get you know I'm not gonna get garbage for any of this and this guy keeps he's alive here Is that who I'm supposed to kill? How does this work? Anybody know how this works? Because I don't. Hold on a sec, I need to figure this out, because this is... I have no clue. Oh gosh. I'm gonna die. Alright, I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright, we're back. So, I guess you have to project, or reflect, the, uh, those things he shoots at you, back at him. Um, I'm getting low on hit points. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah. I guess I could could go back and get. Let me run back and get. Um, I guess geared up, <laughs> enchanted. All right, all right, guys. If we can't be. Uh, um, Heavily armored, we can definitely be heavily buffed. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this guy real quick. Oop, 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 oop. Okay. Oh wow, <laughs> I guess that wasn't so bad. Let's trophy! Four Ender Pearls, woohoo! Gold armor. <laughs> Scepter of life draining. And there was the Lich Kill. So now I can use Ender Pearls to make uh, End Stone. Um, if you throw an ender pearl in the uh, twilight or the um, tinker's construct um, and then you pour that over obsidian you get end stone and then you can put the ender lilies on end stone so I guess with strength 3 and smite 4 <laughs> Holy cow. Um, oh, there's a zombie spawner. So a zombie spawner, that's something I wanted to pick up too. So there's a zombie spawner there. There's a skelly spawner. And then I can, oh, there's another zombie spawner. Skelly spawner. And a, um, so I pick up all these spawners and I run them into a, um, a grinder um, I'll essentially get free uh, mob essence and then we can use the mob essence to do all kinds of fun stuff 
uh, like spawn wither skeletons and um, let's see, spawn slimes, we spawn wither skeletons, slimes. Um, we may need to get into transvector interfaces because um, that'd be really cool. Because if we got into transvector interfaces, we could um, just make a whole column and. Um, I think we still have some uh, uh, buffs left. Um, but the transvector interface, see the choo choo train? <laughs> uh, transvector interface would allow us to put it out in the middle, and then what we'd be able to do is. Um, run uh, just a big column of of stuff a big column of um of spawners so put all four spawners on top of each other um with any of them see we want one for endermen and wither skeletons so in order to do that we're going to want well, I guess we can we can put the spawners in the middle with the spawners in the middle, and then what we can do is the auto spawners. We can make four corners of the auto spawners with the four corners of the auto spawners or eight corners or whatnot. So the spawners in the middle would be the ones that we have to actually stand close to, and we could put um, spiders. Um, skeletons and zombies in there. I'm wondering if I pick up so one of the other things I'm wondering, I'm just a wandering man um, is so in the twilight there's these um, ooh hey I got a cobweb, that's kind of cool can I use this for anything? Um, I'm using for sticky. Those are all the different barrels. Maybe I should have went the other way. Too late! So those are just all sticky barrels. Uh, I can lacerate it into that, and that's about it. Okay. Darkcraft, it was used for um, making silk touch. But, um, so some cool stuff. So we can. Um, we're talking about oh spawner so skeleton zombie oh the druids so in twilight there's a druid spawner now dark craft turned it into a pig spawner when I picked it up so I'm wondering what um, it would turn into if we picked it up with the dolly so let's grab a tool let's grab a dolly um, I don't care about any of that, um, except the dolly. Uh, let's go re-equip. So for five minutes, we're amazing. <laughs> Sound familiar? Apparently every time I go through they're gonna hit me. So we need to find one of those little huts. I think there's some out this way. Uh, it'd be easier to find in the clearing, so I'm gonna go this way. I'm probably let me find a hut real quick and I will be right back. Alright guys, here it is. So we found a little house. I'm going to run inside and watch it be empty because that would be funny. Oh, we can't pick it up. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> so now we know. That was a waste of an hour or two. Oh, well. Okay. Well, what would have been cool is um, I guess in the overworld those are druids. So, or uh, witches. In Twilight, they're druids. 
But um, as you can see, I built myself a, another um, glider, hand glider. Um, yeah, these things are pretty cool. They help you get around pretty quick. Uh, that's a glacier to our right. So as we pass the glacier on the right, know that blah, 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 some touristy information. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so we know we can't pick those up. That's, that's a shame. That would have been kind of cool. Another cool spawner to have and not have to worry about um, an auto spawner. But, so, um, yeah, the end has come. So the end of this episode is come and gone. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. All these help me out. Um, if you got any ideas or suggestions, comments, things you liked, things you did not like, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and take care and have a good one.